Welcome to the World of Dreamtime. I am Shana. Amongst the many beautiful messages that your dreams have, they can guide you in times when you need it most. I wanted to share with you how dreams try to get your attention with messages and warnings. In Lakesh. Your dreams can have a particular theme of objects to show you a message or they can have a sound that can be intertwined into the dream to warn you. This is not the only way, yet these can be easily grouped and examples can be given. When dreams are trying to highlight a message with an object, it could be about anything that is of some importance. When dreams alert a message with a sound, it comes as a, hey, pay attention, or hey, changes are needed. It's like a tap on the shoulder from your higher self because this is of importance to you or it's not a good situation, pattern or path. Warnings also come in the form of reoccurring dreams and you can check that video out in the playlist on my or on my website. To give you an example of someone close to me who had a dream which used sound to warn her. In the dream, her husband and her had gone out to one of his bike meetings and she was cleaning up in the venue after everyone had left. Then she heard his bike loudly revving outside in the parking lot and when she went out, he had gone. Without going into detail about the dream or a personal fear of hers which played out in the dream also, the dream was telling her she needed to stop a thought pattern. This particular thought pattern was highlighted to her through what she said to a character in the dream who offered her help. Now in waking life, I had recently noticed that she was saying these things a little bit more often in conversations. We spoke about the dream's message and how it was not only showing her that this does not serve her, it was warning her of it for whatever reason. And I know that she took the dream seriously and she won't find out what that warning was about. So let's explore the two different groups of objects and messages and sounds and warnings. Objects that can highlight a message, they're great when they come in the form of a text, writing or a picture and you remember it. Other times the object can appear and then all the details in the scene around you when you see the object and what plays out afterwards is how the message will unfold. Stationery in general alludes to communication. This can be about the way you are communicating with others or a message is being communicated. So for the latter, paper or post-it notes are good examples. Advertisements like flyers or sandwich boards can highlight a message. Sign writing on a business or any type of writing or image on a car or a wall, etc. A common one for me is the envelope. This also includes the letterbox, mail holder, mail, envelope, courier package, postcard or a card. A telephone call or a telephone, cell phone, text message, fax or email. It's great if you actually have the conversation over the phone so you can get the exact message. A telephone number or numbers in general can allude to calendar dates or what the number represents or maybe try adding the numbers up to see if this is of significance. Numbers are interesting element to appear. I'm learning them and slowly over time understanding them. One that is highlighted to me was which involved a lotto ticket number. And I clearly saw these in the dream. Yes, I purchased a ticket. <laughs> Yet until after the event that transpired, I realized the dream was referring to one of the best memories I have of a group of friends spending the day with our friend's mum who had recently passed. And you know what? The lotto tickets were the date that that happened. A book, the 
the type of book can provide details, the title is even better, or a passage within it. Magazines, newsletters, newspapers. Poems and songs are when the words will relay the message or your feelings attached to the poem or song will highlight the message. I remember someone mentioned that they had had a dream with three or more songs, just a line or so from each, and they didn't understand what it meant. I suggested to look at each of the lines, the song's overall meaning to them, um, and the sequence they played out. They said they had, yet it seemed they were not ready, as later I was citing the songs in the order and straight away it corresponded to a situation they'd been actually going through for a few years now. Another one of my dreams where a song came up, it was where Rihanna was singing a chorus that was David Icke, David Icke, David Icke. Well, David Icke was said three times, so referring to inner strength and energy, and David Icke, I see as in him as someone who does not source externally. He goes within. And Rihanna, well, I don't know. So the other two elements, that I think they were enough to give me the message, that is to use my inner strength and energy and go within, and it fitted the rest of the dream. Other significant objects that can represent a message is a present or a gift bag and the colours of the wrapping and the contents of the bag will provide more detail. Sounds that can highlight a warning are things like animals, mother nature's children. For example, maybe a bark or an owl's hoot. Each animal will have its own meaning attached to it. The sound of weather where it's loud to get your attention and to warn you about a matter like storms alluding to troublesome times and of course if you hear thunder well that's a great way to get your attention. Any sound of galing winds this would allude to minds and thoughts and sound related to water maybe hearing pelting rain or waves crashing real hard on the beach. Uh, water alludes to spiritual aspects. Natural phenomenons, when you hear it, not just see it. For example, maybe a landslide, earthquake, a crack in the earth, tsunamis or volcanic eruptions. And an explosion of some sort, maybe a hand grenade, bomb or gunshots. And police, ambulance, fire engine or air sirens. Their strong warnings normally associated with the type. Police could warn, uh, sorry, be a warning to help the matter or self-police yourself. Ambulance alludes to medical attention. Fire engine alludes to the emotions. And air siren alludes to either the mind or the thoughts or some type of disaster which may present itself to you in the dream. Maybe you knew the siren was a tsunami warning um, alluding to a spiritual matter. A vehicle horn, um, like a car horn, this would allude to the physical body or your path and a boat horn that would allude to your spiritual path. An alarm, car, house or a building the type of alarm will add more detail to the message. An alarm clock is one way to say, wake up. <laughs> what do you need to wake up to? I went through a period of hearing an alarm clock within my dream just before awakening. Uh, I don't know, this could have been a subconscious just saying, hey, time to rise and shine, sleepy head. And silence. Maybe you, another character, or everyone needed to be silent. I had one of these just recently and it was alluding to listening, listening to something, um, listening to yourself, your inner self, your higher self. So when these objects or sounds appear in your dream, take the time to record and decipher the dream. You might have a special message, maybe a surprise, maybe an idea for something or a self-generated alarm button has been pushed and you need to take, make some changes. 
Enjoy deciphering your dreams and all the beautiful messages they have to share with you. In Lakesh.